fun. We're sending you right now to Alabama, Jacksonville State. Kevin Fitzgerald and John Sunvold have the call. For my partner, Mark Wise, our great SEC Network crew, I'm Jonathan Yardley. Thanks for joining us. Georgia gets a very important win over Bucknell. Now we send you to Tuscaloosa. Welcome inside Coleman Coliseum in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and Jacksonville State tangling. Hey, glad you are with us on this Friday night with John Sunbold, Kevin Fitzgerald with you. A couple minutes in, you haven't missed too much. Alabama up by three. He's the Crimson Tide. It is a roster with a whole bunch of talent and potential this year, John Fernando. Talent, potential, and length. These guys are long, they're quick, uh, very active. Even though they're young, we talk about the freshman Clowney being at 6'10", and you put everything together, Nate Oates, uh, I think he's pretty confident about where this team could go yeah. in the months ahead. Coming off a of back-to-back NCAA tournament, and he certainly thinks this team has the potential to contend for another SEC title. Jacksonville State out of the A Sun in the black uniforms. That's one of their primo players. That's Amanza Engomezi, the junior from Savannah, can stretch it out beyond the arc. Missed last season due to an injury suffered in the preseason. Alabama on a roll. Good ball movement, shooting the ball well early in this game. And the latest basket, uh, courtesy of Namari Burnett. Another guy this last season with an injury. Not a lot of those names to keep up with right now, Burnett. He tore the ACL ahead of a, a, a last season. Good matchup, Miller, the freshman. Oh, Potter. Oh, oh. Potter's a pure shooter. Probably didn't call the last, but good release. And he'll take the three. He's got more than 1,000 points in his career. Potter comes over after the last couple at Moorhead State. He was a starter there. Ray Harper's got a great track record. Wins a lot of games. They won the league last year. And he likes this team again. Lots of new faces, but he thinks in the next coming months they got a chance to win their league. And you can say the same for both rosters that he's heading into this season. Maybe that's college basketball. <laughs> yeah, not atypical to have a whole bunch of roster turnover. Potter, that would have been another. Oh, counted! And the basket for Jawan Purdue. This is an active Jacksonville State ball club. They can shoot it from outside. They've got two or three guys that stroke it, so you've got to chase. If you don't box out, they will follow quickly. And Ray Harper again, talking to him this morning, he's normally a guy that will play seven, eight, maybe nine strong. Well, so far, take a look at his numbers. He wins everywhere he's been. He told me, you know, the first couple ball games, it doesn't look like my team. I'm playing about everybody. I'm trying to figure out which guys work well with each other and who wants to play with. I think the numbers that I'm going to look at is the four yeah, championships. He won a pair of Division II national titles at Kentucky Wesley and two more at NAIA Oklahoma City University. He was a great player that signed with the University of Texas, played there a year, then transferred, became an All-American at Kentucky Wesley. Westland, superb player, superb coach. I want to make sure I did the math. Carry the team. Four national titles. That's a lot. And there is Brandon Miller, his second for And speaking of national titles, World Tide fans are going to hope number 24 can carry this squad this season to a final four. 11 up. Just four minutes into the game, so plenty of scoring. Both teams shooting well above 50%. This is Potter on the drive, got caught underneath. The ball rolls out to Jaden Bradley, one of the freshmen of this Herald in 2022 class. Cloudy offline. Potter was face to face. With Betty Ako that time. So we'll step aside our first. He's out there working on a lot of stuff. Great players don't like donuts on the stat sheet. I, I don't He's going so. to play. He's going to be quick. He's going to be aggressive. It's great for Alabama to have him back. Incredible amount of discipline to be back, in essence, eight months later after tearing the ACL in the NCAA tournament in March. Had to do a whole lot to get here. And he certainly is excited to be back. And he is on the floor, number five in the white. 
Alabama has it after the Travis Rab uh, Roberts miss. See how easily Miller took the off the rim and then he brings the ball down. That allows guys like Quinterly uh, or Sears or anybody on the floor at the time to run the floor. Miller can just grab it and bring it. There's so many athletes, athletic dynamic players on the Alabama roster this year. There's Noah Gurley. He's one of the veterans, the fifth-year senior. A little collision underneath. Size is a big factor for this Alabama squad. A wrestling match underneath. Nope. Mediaco goes down, but a foul. Alabama keeps the basketball. Foul on the Slovakian. Mauro Zelisnak. Alabama 3 of 5 from deep. Shooting 4 of 7 from the field. Winner Lee lost it on the exchange with Burley. So here's Jackson State. Jacksonville State from Jacksonville, Alabama. A couple hours east of Tuscaloosa. These two programs meeting for a third straight year. Second foul on Zelly Stack, and so he's going to have to take a seat. Both coaches, when I talked to them at shootarounds today, Kind of the same thing with both coaches this start of the year. They're looking for leadership out front in the point guard position. Ray Harper looking for someone maybe to run the show. Uh, Demar King, one of the best three-point shooters they have. May not be a natural point. Last year came off the bench. Now he's got Peyton Daniels, the transfer from Vanderbilt. So SEC fans are used to seeing his name. Maybe he runs a point at a better pace for this team. Oh, great point. Early, beautiful pass. Curly. There's the quickness. Javon Quinter. Hard to stay in front of him here, defender. You think you can? Most of the time, he's so shifty, can explode right by you. The knee looked great there. I, I think the knee looks A OK -A, a few minutes into this one. Hank Gomezzi has let a couple of fly. He can stick that three. That's his second. He's going for 13 a game this year for Jack State. I watched the Georgia Trans. I watched their game against UIC, and he's very comfortable at the pick and pop. Most bigs don't want to guard him out there. Well, I can't, you get into a three-point shooting contest with Alabama, good luck. It certainly has been one of the more prolific three-point shooting teams in the nation the last couple of years. Nate Oates wants better production from beyond the arc this year compared to the 19-win tournament team this season. Ray Harper said, we're not afraid to run with it. We're not afraid to play whatever pace. We just have to get back defensive. Mezzi a little hesitant to let it fly. Instead, it's Daniels. He's not three-point edge. Get a number of bodies in the black uniforms can make shots tonight from deep. Sixteenth meeting between these two schools. Uh, Jackson State, Jacksonville State Park has only won once. That happened in uh, 1952. Pretty good game last year, 65-59, right down to the end. Oh, for an Alabama win. Okay, Ango Mezzi and Gurley. Uh, Contact exchanged after that latest play. Let's take a look at Quinterly. The speed, the quickness. Woo. The smooth left-handed hook pass. Good to see him out there. The worst thing for any athlete is to go through injuries and you're not, you don't feel like you're part of the team. You're, uh, you're, you're rehabbing all the time. When I asked the coaches today, they, they were talking about, well, he got a few minutes the other night and comfortable. And all I could think of was hey, he's not comfortable getting zero. I, I don't think he's satisfied right with what happened a couple of nights ago against Liberty. And Gomezzi a bit strong. And yeah, there's a loose ball foul on Jackson State. So Jacksonville State has taken 13 shots, nine of them from deep. Luckily for the visitors, it's hit four. I don't think they mind that jumper from Ingemezzi, but but maybe survey some other things. Because Alabama's not going to guard him out there, so there may be other options, and if it's not there, he's always going to get that jump shot. Alabama projected to finish fifth in the SEC. That's according to the coaches, media, those preseason polls, sometimes always a little wonky. Now, Jack State... Similar upside this year, projected to finish third in their conference. Here's Jaden Bradley. Oh, three. Solid assist again by Quinter. All off the bounce. We know the story. Alabama shoots either layups or they shoot threes. They don't do a lot of mid-range shooting under Nate Oates. 
And in order to do that, you've got to have quickness at the point guard and Quinterly already two assists. I think he's erased those zeros already. Mm -hmm. Straight on three is Cash, the latest from Damari King. That's the fifth triple for Jacksonville State. Second in the nation last year at three-point shooting, 48%. Oh, Sears is now just punch for punch. It's a shootout. Looks like Sears was on the three-point line. It is ruled as a long two, so the visitor is still with a one-point lead. Now, here's the big man. Got the mismatch. Going body for body. Oh, yeah, then he puts it home. Did some work on Quinterly that time. And if you're Quinterly defensively, to get that mismatch, you can't dance around. You, you just got to hold your ground and wait for your teammate to come help you. When they come and help and you're dancing around, they're going to beat you. Vibrant pace to start in this game. Charge. It's a foul on Jack State, so Alabama will inbound when we return. The visitors have the two-point lead. Thanks to the hot, I'm sorry, 13 of 50 from three-point range in those first couple of games. It made 10 against South Alabama, its latest win back on Tuesday. I got him at five, five triples. Already, these both teams with five for three. And solid minutes by Quinterly had three assists. All three of them were the three point shooter. Corner three, Namari Burnett offline that time. A little quick with the shot, and I say that because the defender was right there. Jacksonville State, one win, one loss. There's a foul on the drive to the bucket. Clarence Jackson, they call him Monzi. Transfer from Wichita State, very active. Around the rim, not a great score, but capable because of his athletic, athleticism to get to the rim. Good offensive rebounder, solid defender. That's Brandon Miller whistled for his first personal, so he's on our first. Of the evening, I'm part of the second trip to the line for Jacks State. You, know, you watch this Alabama team, and we do know they have length, right? They're tall. One of the concerns a year ago was defensively they weren't as good as NATO's wanted them. Now the first few games they've not been bad, but they they're going to be challenged tonight. You can already see Jacksonville State. This Gamecock team is a confident one on the offensive end. With a five-point lead, remember a year ago, this game was neck and neck between these two up until about the midway mark of the second half. Here's Sears. Oh, that would look good from this angle. Yeah, stepped right into a good pass by Miller and just stepped right into it like a good shooter should. 43% from deep last year when he was at Ohio. Two years with the Bobcats, transfers here to Alabama. Natural score. Yeah. Not, not all quick. He's not as quick as Quinterly, but he probably shoots it better. This is Daniels wow. trying to put wow. some moves on Miller. It does. You know, he, didn't, he didn't play a lot of minutes at Vanderbilt, but when he did, you could tell physically a gifted kid knows how to play. There's that hammer pass, Burnett, got it! Another triple, and that's seven the time. Rarely do you see, we describe it as catch and release. Most guys catch it, bring it down, bring it back up and release it. Not Burnett, he just caught it and shot it from where he caught the basket. I this, is your, this is your type of game. We got 12 this. combined threes. Tell the big guys to go home. <laughs> or if you're going to play, you shoot threes too. <laughs> Gomez ain't trying to do a little bit of that. That's Juwan Purdue. The senior's first look at the bucket is offline. A oh, great attack. The pass from Bradley was just a little low for Purdue. He was open at the corner. Foul underneath on the pass. But you like what Bradley's doing? Right? Again, here's another freshman. Pushes it. And this is an Alabama team. Thank you. We know Nate Oates. You take it strong to the rim for a layup, but you know where your teammates are outside that three point line. Latest foul on Juwan Purdue. Nate Oates has another title, an SEC title contender this year. Really talent, talent rich roster. 
Here's Clowney. You like his game? Oh, I love his game. I, I, I'll be honest. I didn't see him play in high school. I watched a couple of their games on TV. But when I was a shoot-around again, if, if I didn't know any better, I know Brandon Miller's great. He's going to be great. I'm looking at Noah Clowney and go, who's this kid? It's natural. He shoots it well. He moves well. He's long. Bradley clears it. And Gomez, he miss. Bradley. A blur to the bucket. Timeout, Jacksonville State. And simply coast to coast. But they've got four fabulous freshmen. Jack State loves having Ingomezzi, number 24, out away from the hoop. He sets a lot of picks away. Very active. That's 24 in the black. Jackson now has it on the drive. Hoists it up. That time was caught too far underneath the rim. Bradley on the move. Miller transition three. A bit short. Gurley, or make it Clowney part it, with the offensive board. Beautiful looking jump shot. Offensive rebound by didn't have to go up with it. There are guys inside the quick kick out. Alabama looks locked in. 8 of 13 beyond the three-point line. Goodness mm. gracious. Inside of eight minutes, this is King. Spins, floats it up. That's a pretty looking hook shot. Yeah. He's, He's got a great release. release. Talked about his three-point percentage last year, second in the nation. He made 84 threes, so he's got a great release no matter where he is. And there's another one for in from the corner. They run the floor, they space it out, they make you chase. If you don't get there, they're making this Gamecock squad pay tonight. It's a barrage. John Alabama's made six of its last seven from the field. The strange part is they're only up, so <laughs> it's amazing. Jose Gubezzi. Close down Messi by Bradley. And Gubezzi, he's got the size advantage, the height advantage over Bradley. Four seconds left of the shot clock. Jack State will inbound when we return. Alabama, just like that, flips it back up seven. Right, and this crowd. Hey, they know it's mentioned this. We were likely to get a test from an experienced, very quality ace team. A couple hours down the road, they played them tough the last couple of years. Well, every coach knows if you're going to play a Ray Harper squad, you're going to get tested. Challenge shooters, you know, they won't shoot at a high percentage, but right now Sparks been lights it out. One and done, there's a rebound down to Angle Mesa. And you think you shoot 50% from the field, pass the midway mark the first, you'd be in good shape. Beautiful. Hey, great drop off. Curly went, Ben Yako on it, went straight up. Then there's a foul after the sequence at the rim. Good block by Bediaco, but early when you swing your, swing your hand down, Bediaco just stepped right in here, straight up, good block. It was great penetration by Peyton Daniels, got around the corner, and then once he's around the corner, any point guard, you've got your choice whether you're going to try to finish it in the mid-range game or you're going to have two picks either side of the game. Jack Stewart certainly has displayed. He's got some athletic players, some physicality. He's got in the rim a couple of times, so here's Purdue. Jawan Purdue got to get the free throw line. This ball club was not happy how they played in UIC, and they did not shoot well. They didn't score well, didn't defend, made a couple of mistakes down the stretch, which was frustrating mistakes. Um, I, I think they've come in here with a. They're still searching. They got a lot of new players, a lot of new faces. This team lost its top three scores from a 20 win team a year ago. 21, I should say. Five of their top six. And it's uh, including their entire starting lineup. But Ray Harper restocks, reloads, coaches him up. Oh, Sears is beginning to really beat up. That's his third triple. He's got a letter. Went to a quick zone just to see if they could throw him off. Sears came all the way from the weak side of the baseline, all the way around the top. And his release is fabulous tonight. Purdue, the answer. Nice. Juwan Purdue has scored four points in the first couple of games today. 
a much better start. He surpassed that total. He's got eight. So he doubles the total in 14 minutes. And that's the first three he's hit all season. He's only taken a couple of them. Yeah, really good rebound. You saw him on the offensive glass a couple possessions ago. Matchup zone defense. They've got to be careful. Get set picks out front. Clearly gets by. He's got the kicks. He's got four assists. That would have been five. If Gurley was able to knock it down, see how easily it, easily it is for Quinterly to get where he wants to go. Got such a good burst of speed, very shifty with the ball. Uh, he looks healthy. Yeah, he does. He, well, he looks confident. Yeah. The doctor said he was healthy. Everybody kind of knows he's healthy, but it's the player. Does he trust him? Does he trust mm -hmm. making the moves? Mm -hmm. He looks pretty good this first half. Did you ever experience, by the way, ball back to Alabama? Did you ever have a significant anything close to that where it meant mentally does it does it take a little bit to get back? Yeah, I think we all. I had neck surgery, so so coming back from that, you kind of wonder, does this all work like it should? Work? Yeah. Just the four minutes a couple of days ago against Liberty. Oh, Griffin! And there's Ryland Griffin's first bucket, the Dallas man. Yeah, out of Richardson High School. And you know what? He was a poor bucket getter. His high school coach, Kevin Lawson, loved him in high school. He was a high school teammate of Kayson Wallace, who's doing everything already in Kentucky. The 11 first half triples for Alabama. Daniels lost it on the way up. Shooter. Shot clock does not reset. King, no. Beniaco clears it. Quinterly, look, eyes up. I love the two guards out. Quinterly and Sears together. Who, who picked your poison? Sears, they knew it was offline. Wow. Griffin off a trampoline that time into the paint to snare it. Possession arrow favors uh, Jack State. So we'll tie up. We'll give the ball back to the visitors. So one thing you understand as a player when you play in a system like Nate Oates has is guys that are open, they're, they're going to shoot it, right? So you're not questioned with that should that guy shoot it or not. And I say that because the minute Sears went up for the shot, Ryan Griffin, the freshman, was heading to the rim. Right. Right. He he, he knew when he, the guy was open when Sears was open, he's going to catch it, and shoot it. So they can be an aggressive offensive rebounding team. They got two tonight. Now they don't have that many because they've made everything. <laughs> they just about out. everything tonight. 11 threes and counting. Only hit 10, ten seconds, in yeah. that game against Liberty. So. Well, I, I, was, I was about ready to say Peyton Daniels well, better hurry the ball up the floor. Silly mistake. A mistake. He understands it right when it happens. Right when the whistle blew, he was probably thinking, oh, what am I doing? Ray Harper, a veteran coach, they didn't say much. Seven years in Jacksonville, he's taken this program to a pair of NCAA tournaments. Over and back. Oh, Daniels makes up for the mistake, forces that backcourt violation. Oh, I thought Daniels hit the ball. Knocked it away. Yeah, to the backcourt. We'll go with it. They blew the whistle. Yeah, think of going to the NCAA. You're, you're, you, you get to the A-Sun, you go, and next year they'll switch leagues. It's a farewell tour. Yeah. Where they're headed. Conference, Conference USA. USA. There's a whole bunch of those going on in college sports yeah. this year. Yeah. A couple of years in the A-Sun, a long-time Ohio Valley Conference program against Jacks State. I like that Jacks, J-A-X. Conference USA. A twisting move by Purdue. He's very aggressive looking for a shot tonight. And he's got free throws on when we return. Alabama with the eight point lead. They've got 100. In this first half, out of 15 made field goals. Still 13 assists on the 15 made field goals. Yeah, they have been nearly automatic. This is Juwan Purdue at the free throw line. He's a Free throw away now from hitting double figures at four points in the first two games of the year. Kevin, most teams, though, at this time of the year in this kind of game, if the home team, the big powerhouse SEC team, has done what they're doing, this game would be 20 points already. Right. It's not. The Gamecocks have come in. They're shooting the ball well. They're still going to challenge shooters, and they're just going to see if Alabama can keep making them with a hand in their face. Very confident-looking team yeah, right is. now, it too. it really is. 
They've been disciplined on this end. It's been difficult to stop the barrage, though, of threes. That's a foul on the drive in. And it's the second on Clarence Jackson. So Brandon Miller goes to the free throw line. He is maybe one of, if not the arguably, most hyped freshman recruits to enroll and play college basketball at Alabama from outside of Nashville. Nate Oates says the five star, he just cares. Cares about getting better, cares about hoops, cares about his teammates. He's got this great basketball IQ, Nate says. And when you have a guy like this, you take a look at all the, the, the accolades he's already had coming in. Kids like playing with him. Yes. Kids like being around him. Coaches like coaching him, which is key. And the other part for Alabama, much like a Jabari Smith last year, when you have a guy like that on your team, you got a chance to do great things. You got a chance to win it all. You got a chance to win the league. All those things because he can change a game just by himself. And Gomezzi draws the foul. He's the second on Burnett. Well, and that, you know, that's, that's sort of a DNA. He's certainly going to draw praise from some folks at the next level as well. Four players are as talented as Miller is. And Gomezzi drew that recent foul. So Alabama in the penalty, so one and one for the visitors. And Engomezzi trying to get this thing back to a five-point game. Spent two years at Georgia. About eight minutes of ball game in his first two years. Then he went to Jacksonville State, averaged about nine points, and then last year sat out the entire season with an injury. So he's hungry to be good. I think at his size in that league at 6'9", about 250, ability to make jump shots and powerful around the rim, could be a great year. Cloudy got to the bucket, but looked like the ball slid off his fingertips. Did not gather it properly. And Gomez is coming to set the screen for Daniels. He's earned some additional playing time today. Purdue, yeah! That's a game-high 12 for Purdue. Sears can't answer. There's Miller. There's the quickness. Lost it on the way up. And Jack State is whistled for the foul. Now, Ray Harper disagrees. So there's a couple players. Yeah, we'll see who they whistled for a foul. Once Miller had the ball, it almost looked like he was going to make a pass out to the corner. Watch the slap. Purdue, and uh, I think he was going to pass it to the corner. They're going to give him two free throws. And so it is the second on Purdue. Miller 13 of 15 at the strike this year. He's always loved Alabama. Being not too far away, right up the road, Antioch outside of Nashville. Now his dad actually played football here at Alabama. There were Countless times, even as a youngster, he would come down here to catch a football, basketball game. So this school has meant a little more to him than maybe some others. Offensive rebound, that's jarred out of the hands of Griffin. Boy, nothing would frustrate you more as a coach than uh, the superstar misses two free throws, and then you give them the ball back. And they may be able to get three. Mm. Nate Oates' his team ahead by four, about two and a half to go until the break. Bradley says, let's initiate some offense. Here's Griffin. Oh, beautiful spin. His defender goes tumbling. He did everything but convert. Daniels on the pull-up. Offline. Rebound to Clowney. Here's Miller. Here's his versatility. At 6'9", he can initiate the long strides, kicks to Griffin. No. You know, the difference uh, when Quinterly is in and not in is the speed of the game. When Quinterly's in, the ball goes faster down the floor. So you have more opportunities to spread it and get to the rim. When Miller brings it, he brings it. Uh, it's a nice pace, the same as Sears, but it's not a dead sprint. Quinterly puts you on your heels 
And he changes the entire game defensively against what Alabama's trying to do. A little more of that eye of a point guard as well. It's really, just, you know. it's just fast. That's what it is. Yeah. It, it's, it's a natural speed that uh, you just don't have. Now Jacksonville State in the bonus, so free throws on this side for Clowney. It's the front end of the one and one. They got the hard hats, the student section has been the staple. Did you get your hard hat on the way? I gave it to the photographer who was tossing it up in the air, taking pictures. He was trying to get the A perfect, oh, and I, I, I watched him. And he was a perfectionist because he wasn't happy with his work. I thought a couple looked pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you had a chance to sign off on these photos, perhaps. Cloudy earned the hard hat after the uh, South Alabama game. Yes, he did. That's a staple of Nate Oates' programs. Blue collar attitude. You rack up the most blue collar points, you get the hard hat award. It's floor dives and deflections, so on and so forth. Sears on. Weak side on King. He's got to stay with him. The left is a great shooter. With the left hand that time, Marcellus Brigham couldn't stick it. Alabama's missed six of its last seven. And no more. There's Bradley. And what he has been effective driving with his right hand, preferably going to that right. They've not kept him away from going right. Good finish. Yeah, he's the other five star in this 22 class. He and Miller. Offensive foul ball back to the top. Well, you've got to be set. And Gomez came up and he wanted to set the ball screen, but he was moving so much. It's an easy call for the official when the big's that far up and got to get set. So we got about a minute to go till half. Ray Harper's team within seven. And now Jackson, Jacksonville State has hit seven threes as well. Eight of nine from the stripe, so they are outperforming Alabama at the line. You, you remember when Ray Harper, he went to the zone a few couple times and then got out of it, right? They're better man-to-man -man defensively. Trying to clog things up, trying to help. Got to get to shooters, though, especially this one. Extra pass. Sears, four, three. Sometimes you got to pick your poison. I think I would have stayed on Sears and let someone else take that shot. Yeah, Gurley with that excellent additional pass. That freed up Sears. Two seconds difference between the shot clock and the end of the first half game clock. Ten point lead for the home team. Blocking foul and so free throws coming for Brigham. It'll be a one and one. For the game cops. And Sean Seals, one of our officials, is quieting the bench. <laughs> Nate Oates is simply saying, that's how we teach it. Slide their feet, take the boat, that's a charge. Surveys into the paint, stops, cuts. Solid. Alabama just shoots 58% from the field. 12 threes. Impressive, led by Mark Sears. He shot it well from outside, and then when they put it in his hands at the end of the half. From the field, you're right. It has played with some confidence, with some swagger out of conference game. You always wonder what it's going to look like. And one thing is true, Jacksonville State projected to be at the top of its conference again. It was in the NCAA tournament a year ago. Some veterans this year for Ray Harper once again. How about the lock? Great defense. Yeah. Taken away by Purdue. 
shot clock reset. It doesn't matter who it is. You make a great defensive play, so you take away two, but Bama gets three. That's a play if that happens in an ace Sun game. You come away with it, you're going the other way instead against the power that is Alabama this year. The second chance point does help. That's foul inside. It's the second on Clowney. Now it's an 11-nothing Alabama. Well, take a look at this. It's going to be a little lob, but that's a fabulous defensive play by Purdue, but he doesn't get a hold of it. Right, so then Miller confidently, just calmly, doesn't throw it back inside, kicks it outside, they get three. 13 of 23 from deep. Last touch by Burnett, stays here. Not sold very well by Damari King. He was going the other way as though he touched it. <laughs> Sell it, young man, yeah. keep it to us, I, official. I trust our uh, viewpoint here <laughs> for the Damari King's intentions. Of a player. Here's Daniels. I couldn't spin it in off the window, and so Clowney clears the board. That's a bucket that Jack State needs to keep this thing close. Oh no, again. Sears, not that time. Clowney is fouled. It's the second on Engumezi. Sears is a good shooter. He misses the ones that he quick releases. Right, the, the, the ones he just strokes it naturally, he's made them. The ones he's kind of quick release, which shooters will do, those are the ones that have missed. Check that, it's the third foul on Purdue, not on Engumezi. Gosh, I can I can see the, uh, I can think of the A-Sun coaches now that they were thinking, you know, oh, Ray lost some guys. He's gonna be down, everybody picked them about fifth or sixth in the league. You know, Harper's not going to get anybody. <laughs> Tune in. Check out this squad. They're going to battle for the top of that conference championship again. Well, you bring in a player like like Daniels, for example, and Gumezi's now ready to go. Potter. Look, you said it. They lost their top three scores, five of their top six from last year. But I think, go back. You know, Potter's only made a couple shots tonight. He hadn't taken many. Potter had 42 in an exhibition game, his first time out, eight threes for this game cocktail. Now there he is, he, on the scouting report, you gotta get to him. He might be the purest of all the shooters in this building. Jackson had the stick back, went awry, so he goes to the free throw line, and the Gamecocks are trying to snap this 12-0 Alabama run. Third on Clowney, second this half, there is Ray Harper. He's been a head coach at Jacksonville State, Western Kentucky, Oklahoma State University, Kentucky Wesleyan as well. And the numbers uh, prove out one of the finest college coaches that we have. Jackson. Has one more, the Dublin Georgia native. You mentioned it before. Was at Wichita State previously. Key reserve for the Shockers the last couple of years. He was in the tournament two seasons ago with Wichita State. And you know, a guy that played at that level, right? Wichita State got a power conference. They they, they play against big time teams outside the conference, non conference schedule. He's the kind of body that can do some damage in the A Sun defensively and a little bit offensively. Sears, there's that quick release, not that time. Clowney's there all over the glass, but he gives it away to Daniels. Here come the Gamecocks. Daniels another, the Vanderbilt transfer, and that's why a team like Jack State, oh, Daniels right to the rack, can be competitive in a game like this. Hey, that transfer portal that works both ways. It can help some mid-major programs to get some power conference talent. If they were to transfer, quote unquote, down in a sense. Daniels has that, uh, you know, power five point guard body, right? 6'2, about 190, so no solid. Way. And talking to the coaching staff today and Coach Harper, they were saying we just need to solidify that point position. We're not there yet. We've only had a couple ball games. But watching tonight, I think Daniels is probably going to give the coach some confidence going forward. Alabama with a 13-point lead, working on this side. Miller for three. Smooth. Little dribble handoff. Underneath, underneath against good shooters. 
Just a matter of time before he gets his 11 points now for the freshman from just outside of Nashville, the five-star McDonald's All-American. Daniels to Potter, off the screen, steps into the 10-footer. He's fouled, got hit on the yard there, the shot attempt. They continue to try to make oh, Potter so move so off the line, and like a shooter wants to catch. So Potter obliges, he puts it on the floor. He made a play last time when he got foul goal to rim this time. One bounce, mid-range jump shot. He got touched on the left. He was disappointed because the left arm comes off of a good shooter going up, and he had that ball in his right hand. He he thought he should have made a three-point play. Yeah, he thought he had one more at the line. Instead, he has to make up ground. Make the second. Thousand-point score. Plus, he's got over 500 rebounds in his career. He's just a tough senior. One, two, two, full court. Little pressure. Might be token. They haven't tracked it yet. Handled easily by this Bama squad. Burnett gets bumped out of the paint by the Slovakian, so he's only logged a couple of minutes, and he has three fouls. Heck, he's only played three minutes. He's heading back to no part of these remains in the game. Always make big men move their feet. That's a simple rule and formula for any smaller guy with a basketball. Attack. Zelly Snack closes out on Miller, picks it up, finds Burnett. Down the middle, lays it up, and he's fouled. Two free throws coming for Demari Burnett. Good to see him back on the floor, on the attack early this season. He stole it last year. We know he's a solid defender. Can he get his game offensively? We've seen it tonight. Finally making a couple threes. He's not shot the ball well from deep. Uh, he's three of four, but on the three-point line coming into this game, he was one of ten, so the confidence... Restore tonight shooting the ball. Good all-round player. Good news, volleyball triple header. Sunday starts with Mississippi State and Tennessee at noon. Texas A&M and Mizzou at four. And right there in the middle, the signature matchup one and two in the SEC battle. It's a ranked on ranked matchup, Kentucky and Florida. Also streaming live on the ESPN. Big win by the Alabama soccer team. Today. Indeed, in the NCAA tournament, they were hosting. Go by the soccer field on my way here. You've got the Pat Powerhouse and Austin P coming into town to take on the football team tomorrow. Uh, Tuscaloosa, it doesn't matter the opponent. <laughs> it's busy, we, busy football weekends around town. Oh, they seem to close off a lot of parking areas, parking. Yeah, they're just trying to pull around to do some normal daily chores. You don't say. Mm. Well, hold on. Did you make the barbecue stop while you were I did not. Uh, I had to pass it. Too much work. I was in this gym all day. There's a triple for Damari King. Good yeah, stroke. He's, he's the shooter. 84, 84 threes made last year by this young man. Lefty, pure shooter. You get King and Potter going from the outside along with the point guard play of Daniels. Be a tough back to play again. Alabama by 14. Here's the superstar. Miller. Oh, a good tangle. Yeah. Good defense. Though. Great defense by Jackson. Traveling violation, though, is Potter thought he had the rebound. So ball back to the tie. There's King. You're talking about his three-point prowess. 84 last year. Second in the nation in percentage of 45 percent. So very couple. Now last year he came off the bench. He, he was the sixth man. He came in this year. First couple of games it looked like Coach Harper wanted him a little more point guard. Uh, maybe that's not a natural place. I think he can do that, but looks like he's better running off the ball, getting open shots. He sets the program record coming off the bench. We got nine points today. Miller, that's good. As a defender, I would probably make Miller keep it on the bounce, make him make a play. When he squares up his shoulders, he's probably going to knock in that open shot. Got him at 14 tonight. He's averaged just about 18 over the course of the first three games. Wins against Longwood, Liberty, at South Alabama. And Quinterly back in the lineup as he's in, and so is Sears. There's our shooter, Potter. That's a good-looking stroke again. This team, yeah, that's... 
expected to finish near the top of the preseason poll. Matter of fact, third out of 14 of the A side. It's farewell tour, and I would not bet against it. I don't judge all shooters, but I will say this. I think Potter had the best stroke in the gym watching it today. It was uh, unbelievable how he did it. But he's eligible for the postseason, so uh, Ray Harper's team was very happy to fill in for them. They moved on. They lost to Auburn in that first round. The powerhouse Auburn team that got knocked off in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Miller catch and shoot, follows his miss, attacks, lost it. It's Griffin now. Javon Quinterly back on the floor. Sears has 16. He was lights out. Four of six from three in the first half. So it's a third chance. Quinterly. Yes. He's back. Big smile on that face. You could sense a little greater rotation for him here tonight. He played those four minutes against South Alabama. That was on the road, though. People appreciate the work an athlete puts in after an injury. Look out on the move again. Griffin. Yeah. Alabama starting to pull away now. Was up by 12 at the break. The lead has grown to 19. After the miss, Miller eyes up. Finds Quinterly, wants a second, puts it up. And he hits <laughs> it. Well, they notes the reaction. For his star player, back. Knocks in another shot. Impressive performance by this Alabama squad. Let's be honest, it's easier not to come back. Well, let's just be honest. It's easier to prolong it, not, not work as hard. Hey, I had a good run. Hey, it, it's not the same. He hasn't done that. He wants to be back. He wants to be on this team. He wants to play. Got his four minutes against South Alabama. Like I said, zeros across the board. He's not going to put zeros tonight. He's in the scoring column. He's got five assists, four points, or six points been terrific and changes and changes their game the, the team game the speed picks up and you put him in the backcourt with Sears who's a different type of guard it's a dynamic squad it, it does it feel more dynamic than a year ago to you well it remains to be seen they were terrific last year now they had some moments they didn't defend but they had some huge wins, including, well, beating Houston here, beating Gonzaga, but they had some huge wins. They just did not finish the season well. They weren't consistent. And we'll, we'll see if that happens this year, or is this a team that can do a lot of damage? He wants a third, clearly offline that time. Remember, beat Baylor as well in the SEC Big 12 championship belt. And yeah, we got an offensive foul. This goes against Purdue, he's fourth. Alabama will switch a lot of things, so you're going to get caught on bigs if you're a small one. So Quinterly just got in front to say, okay, lob over the top, Purdue push. Pretty easy call right in front of the official. Sears refuses the girly screen. Clearly behind the back. He's got great handles. The redshirt senior from Hackensack, New Jersey. Great handles, good stop and go, good explosion. Hard to stay in front. The mismatch out to Miller, sets the feet. Did I mention he's hard to stay in front? Of so if he gets by the first guy, someone's got to help. And he just is finding the open guys outside. And they're delivering. Five triples for Miller. It's only his fourth game, career high. I think he may keep raise, ra raising that bar as his year plays out. Look at this. Alabama up by 25. Sears just takes it right away from Brigham. He pokes it. Here we go. Three on two. Oh, Miller a long wingspan. He's got eyes up. He's got Griffin. He's got a three in the air. Miller. Shakes his head because... 
He didn't throw it down. He just kind of just put it down. <laughs> the point is with me. <laughs> 21 down for Miller, so that's the most in any of his first four games in Tuscaloosa. What a show. Like you said, this Gamecock team was right there. King, no. Hey, Gomez's. Well, he's going to be a good player in the A Sun. He year. really is. He's very mobile. Makers. Very active, very mobile. Shoots it well outside. So Alabama starts the second half, John, on a 24 to 9 run. That's how they've just completely blown this open. Tomorrow, <laughs> yeah, and about 10 degrees in Fayetteville. <laughs> well, Sam Pippen's team got up to that nice start. They were ranked in the preseason top 25. Yeah, you're right, right there, five and five. Two games left, Ole Miss at home, and then at Missouri the day after Thanksgiving. Has this not been an exciting SEC football season? It always is. LSU and Georgia uh, in the title game in a couple of weeks. How many will? Make that college football playoff. We will find out. Now, I don't know if you heard Brandon Miller. He's pretty good. They told me he was when I got here. And I wasn't sure until you see somebody. I think the Alabama team's pretty good. Miller has 25, and this tie team, John, is on a extended 36 to 11. Oh, again. <laughs> You can't guard me, I think, is what he might have said. He's got 28, 20 of those after halftime. Absolutely red hot. And that is the ability that this five-star brings to the table. I'm going to love it this year when, uh, you know, coaches ahead of schedule. Each assistant has a scout for the games coming up. Which coach of your squad gets the scout for Alabama? We better start planning yeah, now. Okay. Number 24 is pretty good. You better guard him. Alabama. This is wild. It's taken uh, 38 threes. 38 threes. It's made 53% of those 20 threes for the time. Pass the midway mark second half. Alabama is going to, at this point, cruise to a 4 0 start. Early with the last basket. And the friendly tune up, in a sense. Now, they did have to go on the road at South Alabama. Won that game a few days ago. Started the year against an NCAA tournament team in Longwood. But coming up next is the gauntlet at the Phil Knight Invitational out in Portland. 16 of the finest in college basketball out there next week. That's a foul on Miller. So what we will see, let's take a peek at this schedule coming up for Alabama. We will see just how Brandon Miller, for example, fares against that lockdown Michigan State defense. Some great coaches, some great players. The number one team in the country, North Carolina. Alabama will move their way up after people watching this game. That's some terrific matchups. UConn cracks the I wouldn't be surprised if Michigan State. Maybe they're right yeah. outside. They were the 2016. Right outside the AP top 25. And they showed, uh, they showed a lot of folks around the nation that tested Gonzaga, pushed them to the break, and then toppled Kentucky in double overtime a few days ago. Good to see Big O, Oscar back, came back in that game. He looked good. He did look good. He's a little lighter, leaner, faster, went for the double-double with 18 rebounds. He fouls out late in regulation, and that certainly favored the Spartans the rest of the way. Just Clowney now puts it on the deck to drive a kick to Sears. When he got hand-checked, he's into the paint. Can't leave him open, Clowney. No. Who wants it? 
And into the game for the first time, Nick Pringle with the offensive rebound. That's the junior college transfer. Bradley, that Euro step, he looked like he had a chance to lay it up with the left, had it slapped away and out of bounds. You know, we've seen Bradley and his ability to get to the rim off the bounce, which again creates havoc to a defensive team. This is a, a freshman strong point guard. If you have guys that can break a defender down, then you put a ton of pressure. It opens up your great shooters that are on the outside. There goes Brigham to the bench for Jacks State. And that time Bradley might have walked, and he did. You know, partner, it was still quite incredible when you look at this score. 84-53, because this was a relatively close game. It was 49-30, uh, I'm sorry, 43-39, three minutes to go in the first half. That was a four and just, game. And just what Ray Harper didn't want to have or any opposing coach when you go on the road against a Power 5 school, that, that team you're playing against just absolutely blitzes you. A 41-14 run of a blitz by Alabama. Pringle pinned that one up against the backboard. And this one's going back to the top. Depth that's certainly going to be the key, the strength of this team. Well, they're long, they're athletic. Well documented. Last year defensively, they had a lot of breakdowns. Struggled a lot of games. Bradley lost it on the way up. This is J.J. Platt. Had two straight possessions with a turnover by Bradley. No numbers, find Sears, transition, triple, no, Pringle, back out to Bradley, Burnett, rises, fires, catches it, makes it tough to defend, Parker, you chase it, skip passes, swing in the basketball, unselfish play, you chase it, still too late, it's a waterfall, a, a tidal wave, 21 threes for Alabama, 22 of its 30 made shots assisted. Absolutely brilliant shooting performance by the Tide at home. Now it's Bradley to the bucket. Offensive foul one way or the other. Jacksonville State was going to wipe that shot attempt away. And that time King draws the offensive foul. That's four on Brown. Seven away. He's got 20 of his 28 in the second half. Obviously, Alabama's control of the glass, a big reason for this gigantic lead and a soon-to-be 4-0 start. You would expect they're seven minutes away from that. Yeah, you can see where they lead the NCAA in rebound margin. Granted, it's November. Granted, the teams aren't what they'll be playing down the road. But you still have to do what you do, control what you can. They have rebounded well. They've been a solid defensive team. And I think with number five back on the floor, right, as he is right now with the basketball, it changes how they play because of his quickness and his speed. Plays at a different gear than probably 99% of the players in, in Division One basketball. And when you have that, you, you, it's dynamic. It, it just can't be understated the progress, the quick progress he made. Rehabbing his way back from the ACL tear suffered in late March, the first few minutes of that first round game against Notre Dame in the NCAA tournament. You know, initially, Nate Oates had mentioned several times, Griffin gets the offensive rebound. Nate Oates mentioned several times in the lead-up to this season at SEC Media Day, very public, saying, look, we're just hoping to have Quinterly back by SEC play. And we spoke to Quinterly at shoot-around earlier today. He mentioned, look, I, I can't... I can't understate enough. The support system around me is... No doubt the main reason why I'm back here. He thanked strength and conditioning coach Clark Halter for the just tireless work that everyone did to get him back to where he is right now. Coming up on the five-minute mark, second half. Alabama smashing their in-state foe tonight. Jacksonville State. I watched Quinterly play against South Alabama. It was only four minutes. And I really didn't know what I would see when I came today. Sure. My first question, will he play any? Will he play a little bit? 
And then I watched him and shoot around, and again, he was here so early before the game, and I was just hanging out watching him continually put moves on that knee and do some things that I thought, gosh, he looks like he's comfortable. And talking to the coaching staff, they said, no, we're going to play him a little more because he's been doing this in practice. So great to see. And again, if you're a Bama fan or you're just a basketball fan, it becomes quite entertaining when he's on the floor what this team can do. 21 threes today, I, I would call that entertaining. And, well, he, and he becomes a better coach. Yes, I'll just yeah. let you know that. And Nate said, clearly he's going to be on the minutes restriction. Now he's played 15 minutes tonight. Yeah. That's quite a bit more than yesterday, so he is slowly getting integrated back into live action. Sears at the line. Plus, you have to, you have to get in playing shape, right? Besides the, the wear and tear on the knee and all of those things. Got to get his oxygen level. Game game situations entirely different than sitting on a bike, riding a bike, running in practice. Yeah, putting pressure on the knee, too, in live game action. Sometimes mentally that takes a couple of games. But even that play, he was weak side, and he slid over. Might have picked up the foul, but at least he got there. He, he wasn't gingerly just trying to get out of the way. 91 for Alabama. Against a very good team. They're good. Now they'll be heard in the A Sun. I, I know they're not picked to win. But they'll be heard because they are excellent offensively, good defensively. So you see Jack, you saw the uniform there, J A X. So Jacksonville, Alabama, Jacksonville State. They kind of like the Jack State thing. So it's, it's, it gets a little confusing because you got Jackson State, there's one state over in Mississippi. Yeah. You know, Jacksonville also competes in the A Sun. So it's a little confusing sometimes. Jack State. Kind of separate yourself from the others. I like it, right? Short, sweet, mm -hmm. kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Heading to the uh, Conference USA after this season. And Gamizzi guards Clowney. There'll be a little travel for some of the schools in that league. Yeah. Well, hey, USA's in the title, so uh, look alive. <laughs> King wants three. Nope. And so here you go. These are the four that are heading to Conference USA. And we're covering just about every time zone there. Mm -hmm. All about little football, isn't it, partner? Sometimes that's the case, indeed. <laughs> You think it'll be tough to get to Las Cruces from Jacksonville, Alabama? I think it will. So, you know, when you go to a concert or something, you hope that the act that you like gets an encore? Yes. Brandon Miller's back in the game. So this is like the encore. <laughs> Those that stayed, the people that stayed, Nate Oates said, what the heck? People well, stay, let's put it back in. He's got a chance to hit 30 tonight. There you go. They're on the move. They might hit triple digits tonight. Great oh, look from oh, 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 Miller. Look at Miller. Miller really good to good. smile on his face. He knew he had a hammer there if the ball didn't sail out of bounds. Clowney. There's a stuff. Happened a couple of years ago. I remember that one. You were doing that's the game? That's because I called it. So you, you were here doing the game. You're welcome. You were, you were here doing the game. It was some good or Well, that was one of those live from home deals. So we weren't in Baton Rouge that night, but it didn't make a difference one way or the other. Alabama hit 23, so did it, three uh, and a half minutes to maybe set the record again. And when you were home, did it feel record-breaking to you? <laughs> well, weren't many people in the building either that season. That was the COVID year. January of 2021. Alabama cashed in on 23 triples. They're two away from the record. They're five away from hitting 100, which they did that night. 
And Gomez, he tried to drop it off, and there's Griffin. Very active on both sides of the ball. And great weak side defense. Well taught. Offensive Shot out. report. Everything you want to do on the defensive end. What's the most, how many threes did you hit in the game? It's the most you've hit in the game. You know, we did, I'll be honest. I, I mean, I played in, in the NBA later in my career. The one year I shot 52%. I might have made four or five and again you didn't shoot it it progressed it wasn't as part of yeah know, staple the year I shot 52 percent we incorporated more plays where I had the plays were designed to shoot three when I first got in the league in the 80s the three was only kind of a desperation thing I, I, sure. I played for the Seattle Supersonics we had downtown Freddie Brown one of the great shooters ever but we didn't have plays designed for him to shoot three so the game has progressed not that shooters could shoot them it was always an inside out game way back in the day. The way it's progressed for Alabama 43 attempts from the 43 three point attempts. So you're wondering why I'm salivating over here. Tell me <laughs> just that's what they do. You yeah. catch and shoot it. That would have been 22. And that's going to be a backcourt violation. We used to have coaches that would say, well, I'm not sure that was a good shot. <laughs> Hey, no, is going to shoot them. <laughs> he wants more of them. You walk in the gym, you shoot it. Catch, release. It's a four. Look at the score. Four-point point advantage for Alabama, and Jacksonville State played really hard, really well for 20 minutes. They were down four with about three minutes to go in the first half, then fell behind by 12 at the break. And Gomezzi offline. He's number 24 in the black will be a good player in the A-Sun this year. And it was just a freight train to begin the second half. Alabama at one point went on an extended 41 to 14 run. Just incredible. Obviously, we've got to see Brandon Miller, how he does what he does, and he can do everything. The return of Quinterly off the bounce with the assist. Uh, putting pressure on a defense with his speed. We've gotten to see what Mark Sears does as not only a point guard, but when he slides away from the ball. Outstanding shooter. We've seen the length of this Alabama squad on both ends offensively and defensively. And we've gotten to see the bench hit. That makes back-to-back -back nights for us. Yeah. Adam Cottrell is ready to check in at the scores table along with a bevy of others. Bradley, the motor non-stop, hands off for Burnett, headed to the line for a pair with 1.59 to go. You're going to hear the ovation momentarily. Control, Jaden Quinterly, that's Javon's younger brother. Max Skarnowski. And Delaney Hurd ready to check in. I know we should know this, and I'm disappointed that I don't. When they hit 100 points, students have to get something, right? <laughs> Some, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's Chick-fil-A or it's Taco, those chicken Taco Casa or any of those places down the street. Maybe they don't have that in place. It's happening too often with this guy at the helm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's too much for We're changing chicken. the promotion. <laughs> yeah. uh, hitting 100 in Nate Oates' offensive system is... Happens more frequently than it used to. Well, they're one away. <laughs> but it's up to some of the seldom used players to hit the mark. This is King for three. You're, you're just looking for some chicken on your drive to Birmingham. Is that what it is? Well, there'll be a stop. Here's a big stop. one from oh, it's roll. Outside Pringle. Now we've got free throws coming for the younger Quinterly. A walk on here at Alabama out of Hackensack, New Jersey. That's fun to watch coaches. They keep coaching. They don't care what players are in. They're, they keep coaching. Well, he's got the great staff. It's the, the whole staff has remained intact as well. Charlie Henry, we were talking to Brian Hodgson. You two were smack talking earlier about your bills. Hey, Hodgson loves his bills. Man. He loves his bills. I would this year. 
He's part, he's part of that Buffalo Mafia, there's no doubt. And I'm from the Kansas City area, so I said, hey, come on, bring it on. I said, if your Bills keep losing, then they can travel to Kansas City for the championship. Well, Alabama's hit 100. Oh, that would have been the 22nd three. Officially at 100. Just a bit outside. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Control the uh, senior from Flowery Branch, Georgia. Well, good luck to the rest of the PK Invitational field. Michigan State's got this Alabama team next week. Control taking it in. Yes. Hudson loves it. Minutes ago, three in the air for Roberts. The ball stays here with Jacksonville State. I mentioned the staff, by the way. Let's not forget Antoine Petway has been here for 16 yeah, days as fabulous. well. They got 102. It's hard to fit it on the scorebook, you by know, the I was way. talking to Ray Harper today, and he and Nate Oates go all the way back when Oates was a high school coach. Yep. Up in Michigan, and uh, he was recruiting a player around this. And they got to know each other. They like each other. They schedule these games. Um, both of them have great praise and great words for the other about how their teams play. Well, there's a reason why Nate Oates likes to schedule Jacksonville State because they are going to test this team year in and year out. Yeah. And I guarantee you, Ray Harper is going to say some things about this Alabama squad. That first 17 minutes, he was right in this thing, right? He was, and then boom, my goodness. Look, we're only four games in. We're going to continue yeah. to find out more about Alabama. But you think they're a legitimate SEC title contender? Yeah, I, I do. I, I do. That, again, everything's so early. You get tested by different teams. And what this Alabama team is going to have to prove that the one didn't last year was the consistency night in, night out, defensively and rebounding. Can they do that? I think they've got a lot of offensive firepower. They have a lot of depth. They have a lot of length. Can they do it consistently night in, night out? That's where it faltered last year. Yeah. But different group of guys, different group of leaders. I, I love the backcourt. Uh, when you start thinking of Quinterly coming back and Sears, the, the transfer that's really fabulous player. And then the four freshmen. That any of the four can uh, do some damage on any night. Yes, they can. Flat with that latest bucket for Jacksonville State. There's Delaney Hurd. Alabama's up to 104. It's 104 to 62. They've hit triple digits for the first time in a game this season. 14 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. King wants one more three, and it looks like it's going to be a 42 point win tonight for the Tide. They go to 4 0. 21 threes, they hit 100. Emphatic win this evening. It's impressive. Fun second half for the home crowd.